Should the back gesture in a modern smartphone interface be a swipe from the left or a swipe from the right or both? And before answering that, I'd like to explain where phone interfaces were two decades ago. I'm talking the very first smartphones, the Nokia Series 60 devices, so the likes of the N95, N96, etc., which sold in the tens of millions. Here's a demo of what I mean, perhaps in a small screen contacts app. You'd click on the contact you want or swipe right. <laughs> And there you into the contact and all these different labels. If you then wanted to tap or click into more detail, you'd swipe to the right or click again. There's the detail. And then to swipe back or go back, you'd move to the left in the stack and then left again to get back to your contact. So it's left, right. It's a logical flow of information, getting more detailed and then getting less detailed. Now, as screen sizes have increased, such rigid flow of screens or cards in each app has been relaxed. There's now room in most apps on iOS and Android and beyond for tabs and control icons. But the core underlying concept of going back in an app by swiping from the left to go back in the stack of information remains. For example, here in a web browser, going forward in a stack of visited pages, and then swiping from the left to go back again. And here in my password manager, tapping through into a category, then into an entry, then swipe from the left to go back as needed. Again, left, left, right, right, all logical. In fact, most apps follow this to some extent. Here's podcasts on my iPhone. Let's uh, tap into a category, then tap on a show, and then swipe from the left to go back. And again, <laughs> again. So you see the logic, even if most apps are now much more ambitious in what they present. But what about swiping from the right to go back? Now, it's possible this idea started around 2010 from the way Samsung used to put a physical back control on the right hand side of its phones below the screen. So when moving to gestures, Samsung and then Android generally adopted both the iPhone mimicking swipe from the left, logical, and the Samsung faithful pleasing swipe from the right. Well, maybe it's an accessibility thing, since whether you're right handed or left handed, you're only ever an easy swipe from going back. I'd still argue that a swipe from the left is more correct because swiping from the right in a stack of screens should really be to advance in the stack, not go back. What's utterly evident though is that so many apps on iOS and a good number on Android ignore rules for their own UIN. So swipe down becomes dismiss or back, or you just get an ugly top left back or close virtual button leaving us poor users to struggle on and adapt. But at least now you know where the back concepts came from.